Hey guys and welcome back. Now something completely new for me today. Uh, a lot of you guys wanted to know what I eat in a day. Now it's also squat day. So this is what I eat on squat day, which is pretty similar most days. Uh, obviously it's breakfast time. I'm going to make a smoothie. Uh, I struggle with an appetite first thing in the morning, to be honest. So what I do is I liquefy my food. I put a big fat fucking smoothie together, a lot of protein, a lot of carbohydrates, getting me ready for that session, whatever it is I'm training that day. Now today I'm not training till this afternoon. Usually I'll do a morning session at around 10. It's not the case today. So today I get to load up on food before my session, which is a huge plus. I have squats tonight. It's gonna be fucking juicy, but first, smoothie time. So what do I put in my smoothie? Well, I put in three wheat picks, I put in two eggs, a banana, some whey protein, and some honey. Now I'm gonna break down the macros for you so you kinda of know roughly uh, how many calories I'm having and what's in the calories. I don't personally count my calories. I have a pretty good idea of, of what I'm doing and what's going in my body. And you know I measure that in my own way. I weigh myself regularly. I also look at myself in the mirror because I think the best way to see if you're achieving your goals is to weigh yourself and look at yourself in the mirror. You can see what's happening um, and you can, you've got the data on the scales that's telling you whether you're up or down. For me, it's pretty fucking simple. So, let's crack into this. Honey, motherfucker. Yeah, boy. Nice, generous motherfucking serve. Because... I like those carbs, baby. Makes it nice and sweet. You know, a natural form of sweetness, which is better than the uh, processed form, right? Um, scoop of protein. Easy does it. This is vanilla. I don't really give a fuck what flavor it is, but it's good. Now, I opt for a light milk. Now, not because I think it's better than full cream milk, it's not. However, my current cycle or supplement stack means that I have to keep an eye on the fat content that I'm consuming. So I keep my fats pretty close to 100 grams a day tops. I might go a little over, a little under, but you know I keep my fats in check. It's nothing too crazy with that. Uh, my carbohydrates are very high and my protein's pretty high too. But the only reason I'm using the light milk for now uh, is just to keep the fat content down because when you go through quite a bit of milk, there's quite a bit of fat in there too, um, which doesn't suit my goals right now. That's the only reason why. I'm gonna give it a blend and then we'll chug this motherfucker down. And there you have it, the smoothie. Now, I'm gonna chug this motherfucker down. It's nice and easy, you know, first thing in the morning, as I said, you know, my appetite is a little rough. So, liquefying my, my calories is a lot easier for me to get them in. I'll get an appetite later and I'll have some, some real food. I've got some, uh, some good meals prepped today by Better You from the Central Coast. You want meal prep, look no further. It's very fucking good. But yeah, squats today, 245 kilos on the bar. I'm back in sleeves, obviously. Uh, getting a bit of volume in as I build towards that. 420 kilo squat. My PB is 415. You know, three and a half years ago I hit that. Uh, 360 kilos, I hit it comp pretty comfortably a few weeks ago, which was my uh, reintroduction back to powerlifting. But this prep, mate, we've got to fucking, we've got to eat up, we've got to put some weight on. Not shit weight though, I want to get, I want to be big and sexy, not big and fat. So we can do it the right way and uh, put some weight on, train hard, 420 motherfucker. I'm going to smoke it, <laughs> if you know what I mean, both ways, because that's what's up. <clears throat> I shaved my moustache this morning because of my Satan tattoo. Sick, right? People think I'm edgy. 
I'm really not. You probably have no idea what I believe in. But if you ever wanted me to talk about it, I will. But I'm not a Satanist. Everyone thinks I am. That's cool. Think what you want. I do me. I have my own, my own thing. I can form my own thoughts. Which is interesting, right? It's funny when you can form your own thoughts and opinions without giving a fuck what other people think. Very powerful feeling. Here we go. <coughs> it's thick. That's what she said. But it's tasty. It's just, <clears throat> it takes a little bit to get this fucker down. Um, but it's delicious. If you're someone who struggles to eat in the morning, fucking do a smoothie. If you have no time, do a smoothie. If you want to put weight on, you got to eat. <clears throat> so you can sit here and make excuses as to why you can't eat. Or you can just do it. Depends if you want to reach your goals or not, right? Fuck. <clears throat> trying to burp. It's all liquidy. There we go. Happy days. A little bit more to go. I'll have my next meal. Probably like an hour, an hour and a half. Another medium sized meal. Um, I'll try and get three or four meals in before I train today. Yep. And I'll have, um, you know, a big meal tonight <coughs> um, before bed. And I'll have a, you know, a meal after training as well. So, we'll see how much food we can get in. We all done. So, that's breakfast. I'll see you for a fucking snack soon. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, it is time for meal two. Let's call it lunch. Uh, today on the menu is a steak burrito bowl. Uh, this is from Better You Nutrition. Uh, now, Better You Nutrition supply me with some fantastic food uh, that fits the needs of my diet. Um, high protein, high carbohydrate, and uh, these meals in particular are pretty low in the fat scale. Um, I've added a few of my favorite condiments uh, because why not? Why not personalize your meal? And we've also got a cheeky burrito here as well, because why not? Now, all of my meals are accompanied by either juice or milk. Water is cool, but water has no calories, unfortunately. And when you're trying to fit as much as you can in, you need to be putting things that are dense in calories in your body, unfortunately. So there's limited room for just plain water at the moment. However, that doesn't mean I'm not drinking water. It's just in the form of juice right now, which is... You know, this is no added sugar, there's no added anything, it's just oranges and water. So, not too fucking bad. And I also have some more wheat bix and honey and a bunch of milk to wash the burrito bowl down. So, uh, let's get it. Now, I want to take a moment to talk about injuries, okay? Now, as a coach and as a, and as a, a powerlifter, athlete, I see injuries, I get injuries, it happens. We do our best to avoid them, but they happen because, you know, we're trying to do some pretty wild shit, to be honest, that potentially we're not even built for. Now, an issue I have personally and, you know, in regards to being a coach as well, is that a lot of the time I get people sign up for coaching and it'll be two or three weeks in and they'll get a little niggle. They'll get a little niggle, they'll talk to someone, they might go see a doctor or a physio, they won't even tell me. And the doctor, the physio, or even just them themselves have decided that they need to have a few weeks off, six weeks off lifting weights to get better. Not lifting weights is not the answer. Just because you get a niggle or an injury doesn't mean you can't keep progressing. You should still be progressing. You know what I mean? Like, there's time to work on other things, let alone the actual rehabilitation factor that the training provides for you. My job is to help people get better as well. Once they've been injured, get them back on the platform and obviously to avoid it in the first place, ideally, right? It's fucking crazy. Stop bitching out because you're a little sore or you got a little niggle. It's life. You sound like a fucking pussy. Like you sound like a pussy. 
do you understand? Do you have any dignity? When shit gets hard, buckle up, motherfucker. Jesus. And I'll say, man, this tastes fucking good, like, big pieces of fucking steak in this bowl. You know, I'm a dude. I like meat. Um, I'm not here to get fed fucking trimmings and clippings of off-cuts of bullshit. I want some fucking big pieces of steak in my bowl, and man, you know, this is fucking awesome. So, I can't recommend this enough. And that's me, like... I don't have to say this shit, to be honest, but uh, I stand by a good product. Absolutely. It's food. It's good food. You know, it helps me reach my goals. It helps me train how I need to train and grow how I need to grow. Pro tip, one of the coolest things about having a beard, apart from obviously looking like a very masculine, strong man, right? is that you could wear a white shirt, go to dinner, spill shit everywhere, your shirt would still be white. This motherfucker catches all sorts of things. It's fucking disgusting, probably. Have to keep it clean, but it's very fucking handy. That's done. A bit more room. Although, I am not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Naturally, I don't need to eat this much food to survive. Do you know what I mean? When you're bulking, you're eating an extreme surplus of your survival, your basic survival needs for calories. So <clears throat> it's very uncomfortable. Um, again, you know, the reason I'm having wheat fix after the burrito bowl, this is all soft and mushy now, so it's easy, goes down very easy. You know, but it's another way for me to get in a whole bunch more calories. Um, and it just slides down the old throat. Hey, eh? hey, eh, you know what I mean? You probably know what I fucking mean. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But you would know exactly what that means, wouldn't you? Mm. So, yeah. Just some little little tactics I have to get more food in, you know, like get creative with it. It's not easy. You've got to make it as easy as you can for yourself because it's a fucking hard gig, man. And, you know, I'm guilty of it as well, but it's very easy to go and eat McDonald's and KFC and pizza all the time to make up your macros because you're going to get the numbers in. It's going to be a lot easier. But, you know, after, after a few days, a week of, of eating like that, you feel like shit. You start looking like shit. You know, you are what you eat. So, yes, this is, you know, picking the, the hard way in terms of uh, I'm trying to eat relatively clean, reasonably clean. Uh, I'm trying to eliminate as much processed stuff as I can. Yes, I'm still going to get some fast food because trying to get these numbers in in a day, sometimes you need... <coughs> A little boost and you know fast food does provide that it's very dense in calories and it's you know obviously as you know it's quite easy to get down for whatever fucking reason because um, you know obviously you know there's a lot more calories packed into a smaller amount I would obviously always rather eat you know proper meals for example better your nutrition uh, or a good home-cooked meal uh, but even you know cereal you know with <clears throat> instead of sugar using honey you know, just, just trying to reduce some of the shit that goes in our body. Not that sugar is bad or anything like that, but the processed stuff, you know. Just trying to reduce it a little bit, at least. Mm. So, a little uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable getting there, you know. <coughs> I don't have the best appetite at the best of times, you know, with my mental health, some real talk, uh, it affects my stomach first, essentially, you know, your, your brain and your stomach are very connected, and when my, when my mind goes a little shitty, uh, my appetite is the first thing that goes, and it's a pretty consistent thing, you know, I, I do my best with my mental health too, uh, obviously do everything I need to do, 
and I, I put on a you know a mask and I and I do my job. But real talk is that it's pretty frequently bad at the moment for for a while. I mean, that's life, you know. I accept that. I'm not, I don't accept that I have to suffer. I accept this is how it is right now. But I also know that it can change and it will change. So I'm just trying to do everything I can. Oh, fuck. You know, right now to help myself instead of defeat myself. You know. Cheers. Okay, so now I'm going to go and wrestle with this and um, keep it down. That'll take a little while and I'll be getting ready to head to the gym soon. So, it's been meal two. I hope you've enjoyed it more than I did. It tasted fantastic, but by the end of it, I'm fucking over it. But we've got a lot more to go. That's life. Let's roll on. Let's talk soon. Let's go, baby. All right, so it's time to head to the gym and I will probably stop and get some food on the way. I will let you fucking know because you get to watch me eat it. We'll talk soon. All right, guys, so I just got to the gym. I did stop for some food. I got some uh, Red Rooster, AKA Red Rooter, AKA sponsor me your dogs. I know cock, I mean Rooster. Half chicken and chips, gravy, smash it. And I'll probably start warming up for squats maybe half hour after I finish. Got a soda as well, soft drink, we call it here in Australia. Whatever, it's yummy. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna dig in. I'm pretty fucking hungry actually, and I'm pretty keen to train, so let's go, we'll talk soon. And uh, just fucking so you know, if you are maybe enjoying this a little bit too much and you want to see me eat, you know, food more, well, I mean, that's a you problem. Uh, but, hey, i got the videos. If you want them in long format, I'm going to slow it down a little bit for you. Lay some sexy music over it. I got you. Just pay me. <laughs> it is what it is. Fuck it. But anyway, uh... My squat session today, as I've said, 245 kilos, three sets of five is the plan. You know, see how the last set goes, might do a couple extra, maybe pause them, whatever. Uh, but it's 20 kilos up from last week. A nice progression with the plan to go up 20 kilos again next week. Second week back in sleeves, and on that road to 420 kilos. You know, maybe I'll do six to eight weeks in sleeves, and then I'll be back in, uh, in knee wraps to get some work done. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good session. Almost finished with this. Let's go, baby. Apologies for all the banging outside. The fuck knows what they're doing out there. Jesus fucking Christ! Anyway, uh, that'll show them.
there's my squat session done. Now, I'll be the first to fucking say that was a lot harder than I wanted it to be. The first rep I did with my first set, I was like, okay, this session is just getting it done. Just get the three by five done. We've been here before. These days happen. They're not fun. I just felt weak. There's nothing else to say. Some days are good for lifting. Some days aren't. I ate all the food. I slept well last night. Everything was set up for a good session, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Don't get frustrated. Just do the fucking work because the next time you go back, it could be that day where it's fucking real nice. And we know the law of averages, guys. Out of every four sessions you have, one's really good, two are average, and one's really shit. And that seems to be pretty accurate <laughs> for most people. You just gotta get the work done. We can't make excuses, we accept it. You know, anyone who plays any sport has bad days, has days where things don't feel good, the body doesn't feel right, everything's a little bit off. We're just not moving how you wanna move. It happens, we move on, got the squats done, got my leg press done, got my leg extensions, three sets each of those, three sets of squats, and that was enough for tonight, you know. I'm smart enough to know that, yes, I can just stay here and just keep going and punishing myself, but punishment was not the answer tonight. Um, I just need to come back another day next week and hopefully it'll be better. But as I, as I said, sorry, still got the work done. Uh, but it's time now for another meal. Meal five, I think, or four. I'll figure it out. Um, it depends how you count them because I do eat and drink other things in between meals. For example, during the session, uh, I had a big sports drink, Gatorade, it's electrolytes. Um, so I'll add that to my daily calories as well. Um, and any other you know, liquids that I've, I've, I've ingested that have calories, anything I have calories, I will put that in at the end of the day as well and give you a big, big old total of what I've eaten for the day because I'm actually pretty curious too. Um, I'm gonna smash this now and then uh, head home. And I've got some work to do when I get home and uh, I've got some eating to do when I get home, so. All done. You know, I have no appetite at all. I feel seedy, but when the food's so good, thank you, Benny. That's why Benno's pasta, bed nutrition, unbelievable meal, even when I feel seedy. I can manage to get it down, but after training's a hard time to eat, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucked. But I'm gonna go home now and get to work. We'll talk soon, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, so it is uh, kind of like my last main meal of the day. I'll have dessert too. Probably not gonna fill my dessert. It's gonna be me eating some biscuits and shit like that. So if you wanna see that, you can pay extra, motherfucker. Um, but for dinner, I've got a massive bowl of pasta and garlic bread. Um, this is a, a big, big serving. I get hungry at night time. So during the day, you know, my meals aren't that huge. Um, but at night time, I definitely put it away. I always wake up in the morning nice and early and take a big old shit. And uh, it's probably the, the best way to start the day, to be honest with you. So I'm going to put this away now. And um, it's going to start doing its thing for tomorrow morning. It's exciting, right? It's, it's like nature. Science. It's like a science channel. And I'm probably not going to share that part of it. Again, if you want it, it's going to cost you extra. Um, some people are into that. Not me personally, but you know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> Alright, well, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to put all my uh, macros for the day, roughly, calories, all that shit. Uh, I'll chuck it on the end for you so you can see my total numbers for the day because I am actually really curious but yeah thanks for uh, for sticking around if you're still here I mean fuck if you're still here you may be wondering if you could do something else more interesting but hey I appreciate it nonetheless but until next time go to the fucking gym and eat your vegetables and your dinner <laughs>